an untouched frozen tomb that may contain the 2,800-year-old remains of Scythian royal has been discovered in Siberia. The huge grave, which is perfectly preserved in permafrost, is wider than the length of a football field, and likely houses the remains of several Scythian royals. The Scythians were a barbaric group of horse-riding nomads who dominated a vast stretch of Eurasia from around the 9th to 1st centuries BC. They built no settlements and left no written record, so archaeologists have gleaned what little is known of them from the well-endowed tombs of their leaders. Now scientists have discovered one of the oldest and largest Scythian graves ever found which could also contain a record hoard of weapons and gold treasures. Scroll down for video. The Scythians left behind a number of huge burial mounds, which they filled with gold jewelry, richly decorated cups, bronze airheads, and other goods. Their contents are often exceptionally well preserved for their age, with Siberia's permanently icy soil even keeping the tattooed skin of some corpses intact. Researcher Dr. Gino Kaspari, from the University of Bern in Switzerland, discovered the enormous royal tomb while studying satellite data of the Uyuk Valley in Tuva, a Russian republic northwest of Mongolia. The region is sometimes called the Siberian Valley of the Kings due to the high number of Scythian tombs found there. Dr. Kaspari told Newsweek that the grave, known as a Kyrgyz, likely holds a hoard of well-preserved items because of the valley's underground layer of permafrost. But the team will not break into the tomb until they complete detailed scans of its delicate contents. If it really turns out to be a permafrost tomb, we can hope for an exceptional preservation of objects that are usually not part of the archaeological record, he said. Anything organic like wood carvings, felt items, clothing just to name a few. This would result in a much more vibrant look into the past than is usually possible. Using high-resolution satellite imagery, Dr. Kaspari spotted a circular structure in the middle of a swamp along Siberia's Uyuk River. The mound had a circular structure made of logs or wooden beams set beneath a thick layer of stones, a typical of Scythian kurgans. Along with Russian colleagues, Dr. Kaspari visited the site and took samples of wood, which radiocarbon dating has since showed is more than 2,800 years old. The team also measured the mound, which stretches 140 meters, 460 feet, across, making it one of the largest, as well as one of the oldest, Kurgans ever found. No other frozen kurgans of this size are known in Eurasia, Dr. Kaspari and his colleagues write in their paper. It is, however, also, in, danger because with a global rise in temperature these treasures are an immediate risk of being lost. Large excavation campaigns need to be carried out throughout the next years to excavate the complete object and preserve the knowledge we can gain from it. Many Scythian graves have been looted over the centuries as locals cottoned onto the rich rewards stored inside. During excavations at the tomb known as Ertzantu in the early 2000s, Archaeologists found the amazingly intact bodies of a man and woman lying side by side among more than 9,000 golden objects.
But the newly found Kurgan appears to have been left by looters as it is embedded in a remote area of deep Siberian swampland, the researcher said. The Kurgan is five arduous hours by off-road vehicle from the nearest settlement, Dr. Kaspari said. He added that the grave gives researchers a huge chance to learn more about this era of Eurasian prehistory.